Hey guys, the real brown kid here, and I'll just like, say thank you guys for letting me hit 50 subscribers. 50 subscribers may not be a lot, however, it's an accomplishment for me because there's 50, there's a 100, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you hit thousands, then you hit tens of thousands, and then you hit hundreds of thousands. Maybe if you guys support me enough, we can hit hundreds of thousands. Hmm. So this is just a quick thank you video, and it's also a response for you guys' questions, comments, you believe in my other videos about the Rocket Hill game capture settings I'll be using. So let's get started with this tutorial. Alright, so you open up your Rockto game capture and you come across the capture screen, which is this, and you go straight to settings and you click DivX. Why? Because AVI, the quality is great, however, the file size is too big, so it'll take long to upload to YouTube. And WMV, the quality is horrible, but the file size is small enough to upload to YouTube. And so, yeah, so DivX is the way to go. There's a good quality and it's a good file size. Alright, so now you come across the little moon slash sun thingy here. And what it is, it's your brightness, your hue, your sharpness, your contrast, and your saturation, and the settings go in order, which I use. 117, 64, 0, 32, and 41. Why is the sharpness 0, you might ask? Because the Roxio Game Capture has too much sharpness, even with basic settings, so it's always good to drop down straight to 0 before you start recording. Alright, so now that you're done with your recording, you go to Edit and Share and you come across the editing software now usually what I do I just put a quick uh, fade in fade out transition and then I just go straight to output as you can see I'm zooming in right now but you guys do whatever you want you know fiddle around with the color correcting put text put music do whatever have just screw, just screw around with this editing software alright now that you're done you're gonna go to output like I zoomed in earlier and you're gonna view, uh, sorry you're gonna click um, video file quality and you're gonna change it to DivX HD 720p at 60 frames per second. Now this will make your video uh, 720p. Uh, now usually the Rockstar Game Capture isn't 720p, but uh, if you render it in 720p, it will become 720p. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. These are the settings I use for the Rockstar Game Capture. Uh, I will leave a link to everything down in the description. Not a link, but like a description of the settings I use. Uh, please like and favorite. I put a lot of a lot of time into this video, and it took me it took me many takes because I started screwing up. And I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.